Hey everyone, this is Hitesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So what we are going to talk in today's technical talk. Now from the previous movie, the last video which I uploaded, it really made a little bit controversies because I didn't name C or C++ in my top 5 programming language. It was obvious, I saw that coming and it was about to come, it came. So it was perfectly on my expectation. So in today's movie, I would like to talk about how I started my journey. Now this movie is going to be in the two parts, how I started my journey and how to be consistent over the programming, but that will come up later on. Right now, I'm just want to, I just want to talk about how I, uh, how I started my journey. So it was pretty nice journey, little bumpy as well, little bumpy ride, but I would say this was pretty interesting. You will see and you will learn a lot from me and I really want you to not make those mistakes that I made during my journey. Okay, so let's get started. It was really my early days in the life and really the college days, the first year out there, the charming first semester. I just wanted to learn the programming. I heard from a lot of people that it's a good thing, it's a good job opportunity, so you should grab it. Okay, so I got started. It was in my first semester and I started with the C programming language. And when, first of all, my teacher taught me that how I can make a Hello World program it was too much overwhelming for me. I felt really enthusiastic about it and I felt really I made a computer do that. It was really really kind of a fun for me. And I thought I should start really more into the language and I should get more into the language. So I thought I should join some coachings or some private tuitions out there. I did the same. I went off and tried to find out the most famous institute in my area to learn the C programming language. I went out there and saw that a lot of students from my own universities and some other universities are also joined there. So we sat around, it was a class of 50 or 60 students and the teacher came in and surprisingly, he wrote the entire code on a whiteboard. I thought, what's happening? I, I came here to learn programming on a computer. But due to the shy nature, I just sat down and waited that someday I'm gonna write the codes on my computer. So I just waited for the entire week and then over a week, but nothing was changed. The codes were written on the whiteboard. We were just being taught like that. So I got up and asked the teacher when I'm going to write the code on the computer. He gave me some softwares in the pen drive. It was early days, the Turbo C was there. So he said, go ahead, go to the home and write these codes on the computer. I tried that and I failed miserably because I was missing a lot of brackets, lots of semicolons. That was not at all cool for me. So I came to the teacher the next day, I asked him that I was not able to write it. Why are you teaching me on a whiteboard? You should be teaching on a projector or maybe on a computer so that I can learn better. He said, I'll do that and that's it. He didn't make, make up the promise. And eventually the semester was gone. I somehow passed my exam surprisingly and still I was not able to code. That was pretty awesome. And then after the second semester came in, the C++ came in, I went through the entire same journey again. But again, at the end of the year, I was perfect in the C. I was good at C++, but there was no product in my hand. This is miserable because I'm so-called a coder by the end of the one year. I have two languages in my pocket or even I have passed greatly in the grades as well. But still, I don't have my product and that's actually not a programming. So I decided I'll take the shovel in my hand, I'll take the tools in my hand and I'll start the programming. I searched a lot and find out that there is a one language. I started out with the Python. Everyone told me that it's going to be tough for you. Python is not for everyone. It's not an easy language. But surprisingly, I found out that this language was much more easier to learn. And I started out with that. Then I did an entire week research on finding out the greatest platform on which I can write. And I came up with the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. And on that, I, I was not much worried about for the brackets, missing brackets, missing semicolons, syntax, and all of these things. So I started with that and finally, I was able to design my own calculator. That was very, very exciting for me. And I, used, I have designed the calculator in the C because I asked the teacher, I want to do that, please teach me. He taught me, but he was actually teaching me to design the calculator on the console. Who on this God's green earth 
write or use the calculator on the black screen. Nobody does. Everyone wants to have a calculator on which I can click my mouse, click, click, and can use it. So I failed miserably in the C and C++ at that time. And started out with the Python, was pretty successful. And in the meantime, I was pretty much into the information security as well. So I have designed some of my own tools as well. That's what pretty good. Okay, so what's the whole point behind this story? That is very simple. I'm not blaming that C or C++ is a tough language. You should not start with that. That's not the point. If you're getting that, that's the wrong scenario that you're getting. I'm trying to say that the teaching methodology can be wrong. You might, you might have your mindset that, hey, first you should learn C. That's not the case. It's not always entirely true. I've seen many universities talking about introducing the Python as the very first language, or maybe Ruby as the first language, or I would recommend JavaScript as the very first language. Don't get stuck with any one language. Keep on learning. Okay, so let's just summarize what I want to deliver with this movie. I want to say that you should get started and choose a language of your own. Do some research. And at the end of the day, it's the product that matters. Again, it's the product that matters because you will feel exciting when you will have a product, your own software designed by you. That will make you really, really enthusiastic. That will make you feel something extra. So do some research on what language you might want to get started. There is no prerequisite in the programming. I have seen many people getting started directly from the Java and building up some cool Android apps. So if you have a Mac, I would recommend go with the Swift or something like that. Then the second step after choosing the language is to find the greatest platform on which you can write some code. That can be any IDE, like it can be Eclipse, it can be PyCharm, it can be Brackets, Atom, or maybe anything, or Sublime Text, whatever feels to you that, yes, this is meant for me. So go ahead, spend time on that. And finally, I would say that create a project. It might be a graphical calculator or maybe a tax saving plan or maybe some DSA project or making some algorithms that just changes the music or clean up your folders, clean up your duplicate files, clean up your duplicate images or there can be tons of ideas. So make sure there is a product in your hand that will make you comfortable with the programming. But the problem is how to be a consistent learner so that at the end of the day you deliver a product that's coming up in the next movie. I hope this movie was pretty good for you and I would, rec I would request all of you to please like and don't forget to share my videos. It might help your neighbors or your cousins or your younger ones to just learn programming getting started with that. So please share the video as well as subscribe to my channel. See you out there in the next movie.